Okay, ready? So today I have another video in the exclusively pumping series here on my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to wean. Now, as usual, you guys know that I'm not a medical professional, a doctor, LC, any of that good stuff. However, I am an experienced exclusive pumper of nearly 11 months. So I did want to say really quickly before I start the video that this video is for people who have the time to take and wean. Now, if you have a medical condition or something that is very dire that you need to wean extremely quickly, like you know, you don't have a month's worth of time to wean or anything like that, I highly advise you go talk to your medical professionals, whether it be a doctor, or LC, whatever it is, because they may be able to help you with that. Weaning is very time consuming. I'm not prone to clogs, so I was able to do it a lot faster than if I had been, and it still took me quite a bit of time to wean completely. So I just wanna throw that in here because this is not gonna be like overnight, you know, quick, wham bam we're done it's gonna take a while it really takes patience i got very frustrated in my weaning process because um mine wasn't a dire situation i didn't need to wean overnight but i expected it to kind of go relatively quickly um however that wasn't the case for me and i can understand how it's frustrating you just want to be done you need to be dried up you know all those kinds of different things so just kind of try to trust the process know that it you know eventually you are going to be weaned. It's going to be okay. But I did want to mention that if you are looking for something that's super quick, whether it be for a medical condition or something like that, you know, I would just go talk to your doctor. So like I had mentioned in my exclusively pumping how to drop pumps video, I mentioned how I was considering combining these two videos, but I decided to split it up because that way people who are only interested in just dropping pump sessions could go watch that video. However, that video is pretty imperative to how you want to wean. So I totally advise you guys to go watch that video really quickly, fast forward to whatever part you may need, watch that so maybe you'll understand this part a little bit better. I'm still going to go over some of the stuff that I talked about in there, but it is very detailed. I give good examples. I was really just trying to make it thorough for you guys and simple to understand me. So I would advise to go watch that one and then watch this one. So I did have quite a few questions on what clogs were and... Um, how to get rid of them, just all that jazz on my last video, and I've had them dispersed throughout other EP videos as of lately, so I am going to do a dedicated video for you guys about that. I don't really want to talk about it in this video just because I feel like there's a lot to know about clogs, so I will make that a separate video. As soon as I have that done, you'll be able to find it down in the down bar, but when this is freshly uploaded, I'm not going to have that done for you guys, but I am working on it. I did want to throw that in there. But I'm just going to go ahead and talk about how to wean for those people who are prone to clogs first. For those of you who are prone to clogs, you're wanting just going to keep doing what I had mentioned in the how to drop pumps video until you're completely weaned. I'm going to go over that relatively quickly in case you didn't watch that video. But basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shorten each pump session by a few minutes while slowly trying to push pump session times apart. You can only drop one pump session at a time when you're prone to clogs and that's because you can't be going all out, you can't be going like hardcore trying to drop a whole bunch of pumps when you are prone to clogs. You know, that's just setting you up to get clogs and they're nasty and they're just, they're no fun whatsoever. So. Like I mentioned in my last video, you're going to want to take it nice, slow, and easy. So the key is to drop one pump session at a time. You're going to want to take a few minutes off of that pump session each time and try to push that pump session a little bit further in your schedule each time as well. So basically what I mean is that if you pump for 20 minutes, pump for 17. If you pump for 15, pump for 12, things like that. And then try to push that pump session a little farther down in your day as you go, just by a few minutes each day. You know, like I said, take it slow slowly. Clogs are no fun for anybody. If you're still confused about what I'm saying, like I said, I go over very thoroughly what I mean in the how to drop pumps video and I highly suggest to check that out because I don't want you guys to be confused. I want to help you guys through this so definitely check that out if you're still not understanding what I'm saying. It's really hard to word things correctly just because I want to use the word pump so often and session and time and things like that so I really want to make sure that I'm coming across clearly as to what I mean 
and that's the reason why I think that video just helps a ton. Like I said, you only want to drop one pump session per one to two weeks. So after you drop that pump session after a couple of weeks, go ahead and start on your next one. It's very imperative that you do this nice and slow. Do it by each individual pump session to get to yourself to that weaning stage. It's going to take a very long time, especially if you're prone to clogs. I'm not prone to clogs and it took me a while. But just like I said in the beginning of this, that's what you're gonna wanna do until you are completely weaned. For those of you who are not prone to clogs, you're gonna wanna do the same things that I had mentioned in the how to drop pump videos for you guys as well. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna only wanna pump for relief. So if you pump at four o'clock in the afternoon, go ahead and try and push that pump session as long as you possibly can. And then when you finally get uncomfortable, go ahead, but only pump for relief. Now that's gonna be different for everybody. For me, it was honestly like an ounce, maybe two ounces for me to feel relief. And then that was it. You do not want to pump until empty that is the key to weaning in itself no matter if you're prone to clogs not prone to clogs whatever that's what we're trying to do here we're trying to not empty the breast to signal to the breast that you don't need that milk anymore you know it's just a difference in time frame and steps and things like that you know when you get down to if you're prone to clogs not prone to clogs things like that but if time is of the essence for you you can drop more than one pump session at a time since you are weaning but just be aware you can see a sudden decrease in ounces you can become extremely uncomfortable and you can also develop clogs a little bit more easily with that way and i did want to say you know don't wait for your breasts to feel like you're in pain just wait for an uncomfortable feeling you know if you're waiting until you are physically in pain you're probably waiting too long and as soon as you start to feel uncomfortable you know things like that I would you know pump for relief get those couple ounces out and go back to trying to push that pump session out but so before I get into my experience with weaning I thought I would throw out a few other things that you could try in your weaning process to help you along the first being a peppermint oil make sure that it's peppermint essential oil not like extract or anything like that that you may have in your baking cabinet you could also try no more milk tea which is made by the same people who make mother's milk tea although I've only been able to find the no more milk tea on Amazon I'll try to link that down below if I can find it for you guys you could also try try cabbage leaves in your bra that's something that I've heard very commonly and then you could also try a decontrustant now keep in mind the same way that supplements to increase your supply is not going to work for everybody these may not work for everybody just because it works for one mom isn't going to work for the next try to keep that in mind I would also advise that if you're going to try a decongestant or the peppermint oil and you've never used them before anything like that you know talk to your doctor and make sure that you're good to go with that now if you do happen to get a clog despite all this you're going to want to definitely get that out as soon as possible as I mentioned in my last EP video those things are nasty they can get just really bad they can make you be in so much pain and you're going to want to make sure to get those out relatively quickly and work them out before they cause an infection or anything like that. If you do develop an infection or you think you may have or you know you're at that point where you're not really sure, definitely go see your doctor because you're going to need antibiotics to go ahead and clear that up. Now as for my personal weaning experience, a little bit about why I chose to wean was um, a little bit unexpected for me personally. I've said before how I never really had a goal when it came to pumping because I didn't want to put that pressure on myself. But I did always hope that I would pump until she was a year old and then give her frozen until she was about two. However, I think it was around um, July. I can't remember the exact time, but I went and picked up my wedding dress. I put it on and I found that my top right where my boobs were did not fit whatsoever and I'm talking there was a massive amount of inches <laughs> that it did not fit by and it was a zip closure and our wedding was in December and I knew that weaning could take a while and I also didn't want to be in the process of weaning when my wedding was happening so I decided to start the weaning process a little bit earlier it was really difficult for me because I struggled with it being kind of a selfish reason but I did make it a very long time with my pumping journey and she still had plenty of frozen milk to get her to a year. I feel like any amount of breastfeeding is amazing in itself. I feel like we shouldn't be too hard on ourselves. I don't know, for me it was one thing to say that I was gonna start weaning and it was another to do it because when I started weaning, 
I felt a lot of guilt and for really no good reason. Even if a mom just doesn't want to breastfeed anymore, that's her decision and she should feel comfortable with it. So, you know, really don't try to beat yourself up about it. No matter what your reasoning is, whether it's a medical one or a personal one or you just want to be done breastfeeding, don't be ashamed of it. Really just try to, you know, honor your accomplishments because what you've done is amazing you know no matter how we feed our babes it's amazing so I did struggle with that for a little bit and then it was about a month later when we found out that I was pregnant and my milk supply just vanished I was down to one pump per day and I was having a really hard time with it and trying to get rid of it because I was still like pumping eight ounces and I was having a hard time getting frustrated, but I started noticing that it was happening a lot faster than it had before. And it was about, I think, either a few days or a week after that, that I took a pregnancy test and obviously came back positive. So I don't think my pregnancy hurt anything with my weaning process. It actually kind of helped me. Although I do know moms who have been pregnant and you know, it doesn't do anything to their milk supply. I did get one clog from going from three pumps per day to two pumps per day. It was pretty nasty. Um, it lasted almost two days in its time span too long for me and like I said in my last EP video vibration and hand expression is what helps me the most when I get clogs that's just a personal thing for me I've just noticed that I you know they release better when I do those two things and speaking of hand expression when I started my weaning process I brought my pump everywhere like I said I'm not prone to clogs so I was trying to just only pump for relief however when you're trying to do that you never know when that point is going to hit you so you kind of need to keep your pump on you at all times now I am lucky enough to have a pump bag and it makes it super convenient to take my electric pump everywhere. I also have a car adapter, so I'm able to do that. But you may find that bringing your manual or hand expressing is a ton easier. Now, when I got that clog is around the time that I really started mastering hand expression. And I just feel like it was a ton easier. I will say that hand expressing is definitely something tricky to learn. It's frustrating and honestly I gave up on it a ton of times but I'm glad I stuck with it because like I said it was just more convenient to bring empty bottles with me and hand express when I became uncomfortable opposed to bringing my pump. But manual pumps are pretty small too so you could also bring those or if you don't mind bringing your electric pump go ahead and do that because I did that for a while too. But I did want to throw that out there that you're going to want to keep your pump or your hand or your manual pump on you at all times. So that is everything that I have for my exclusively pumping how to wean video. I did want to say really quickly to all you moms who may be starting to wean, are weaning, have weaned, whatever. I just wanted to say congratulations. You know, you're super amazing. That was a ton of hard work and you guys should be super proud of yourselves. I feel like being a mom in itself is super hard and there's not always that person to give you a pat on the back for all those things that nobody ever notices. But I notice you and I just wanted to let you know that you guys are amazing and you did an awesome job. So congratulations, you guys. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.